Right, hello and welcome back. Sorry I've not been around for a while, I've just been a bit busy. Um, these bits took quite a while to come in the post, so um, I haven't put a video up in a while, but uh, we're back on it now, so I should be blasting a few out in quite quick succession. So, today we're going to have a look at the bits that I've bought off the internet. Um, first of all, we're going to start with a little FPV camera with 110 degree field of view with a, a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter we've got a nice diversity receiver obviously 5.8 gigahertz again a couple of batteries but they're just from models a couple of extensions for the actual uh, uh, diversity receiver and then one for the one for the transmitter end a couple of clover leaves, one for the transmitter, one for the receiver so then we've got a standard straight rubber ducky and then uh, a, diver uh, a clover leaf for a bit of di diversity um, and then obviously you've seen the FPV screen before what I'm basically going to do today is just hook it all up just see what the picture looks like and uh, also I want to see because this board's got a USB on it I want to see if we, we'll be able to um, record the video out direct onto, the, onto a USB I'm not too sure looking at the control if that's possible but we'll give it a go anyway so We'll just have a quick look at the FPV camera. Instructions in the box. Little FPV camera there. Cap on. Six hundred milliwatt transmitter, and then standard rubby ducky antenna and then a little wiring harness for 4S but I think you can put 3S in as well so we'll have a look at that so I think it's just simple plug job so take that out Heat shrink plastics in the way, so I'm just gonna have to find my knife. So I'll be right back. Right, I've managed to fit that in. I actually needed a three. It actually needs a three S battery, so I just went and got a transmitter battery pack. So basically, simply plug plug into the transmitter. Same on the other end for the camera. Simply just plug plug in. On here, there's a switch for PAL and uh, American so obviously I'm going to be on PAL so that's that's the camera set up make sure that before you ever power up your transmitter you always have a an antenna attached or this can blow the actual uh, transmitter itself so this is just a nice little right angle antenna that I've got so hopefully I'm gonna be able to mount that somewhere on the quad just facing down like that but I do have um, an extension if I need one but I don't really want to use that I want to try and get it somewhere out of the way um, just so it's less likely to break off so I'll put that to one side so I'm going to have a look at the diversity receiver 32 channel quite nice small form factor So you get power, video out, another video out, and two rubber ducky antennas. So I've got another clover leaf here. So the basic idea is that because I'm putting this all in a case, I need some extensions. So I'm gonna these are gonna go on the extension straight away. Obviously. Self-explanatory. Scrap that on there. Put that onto there. That's that. I think we'll power up the screen. So 
So we've got the screen on. Change the input. AV. So. A little bit of a problem here. We've got double female end, so I'm going to have to go find uh, a little uh, extension piece to convert that to be able to fit in. So I'll be right back when I find one. Right, I'm back again. I found myself male to male video connectors. So I've plugged into the diversity out on the video receiver. Just going to connect up the yellow because we're only using video. And then I've just got a little 800 milliamp hour battery just to power the receiver. It's got the old standard connector already on the receiver. Power it on. Just scanned every channel, it didn't show anything, so we'll uncover the camera and power that up. We've got lights on the transmitter, looks like we're on E4. Do a scan again. There we go. Alright, it looks like we're on C4. Got a little display on the uh, receiver to show you what channel you're on. So that's it all wired up. Quite simple to get going there, eh? Excellent. So you can focus this lens on here. You've got a little screw on the top that you need to loosen, and that also obviously marks the correct position as vertical. That's about it. We'll just do a. We'll just go again. And we'll see. So that's on C4 so we'll click again I'll click the wrong one there so that's C4 C5. That's so uh, that's one channel away. You got a bit of dis You got quite a bit of distortion. So it looks like it's just it's not. It's just got to stay on the channel that it's that it's programmed for. And that's C6. So we'll go back round. So yeah, that looks like it's all working well. Um, apparently this. This transmitter can get quite warm, so what I might do is uh, do a mod where you take the, you just cut the plastic off and put a heat sink on top. But if I do that, I'll uh, show you because it is actually already getting quite warm. But I think it it does have auto shut down when it gets too warm. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video, and I'll be back when I've uh, done some work on the case. I've just been uh, doing a little bit of uh, drawing on the on uh, Fusion 360, I've just been getting used to that so that I can transfer the uh, the drawings over to the CNC machine and get the plastic cut out, but that's just proving to take a bit of time because I've got to actually learn a new piece of software. So, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another video.